Hello, hello, hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Grace from Grace's Diamond World and thank you so much for popping in. If you've stumbled across my channel, I would love for you to stumble, stay and subscribe by hitting the little subscribe button down below there on your screen, next to which is a notification bell, which will go ding each and every single time I upload a new video. I am going to do a whip and chat today. What is a whip? I hear you ask. It is a work in progress so please get out whatever it is that you're working on what are you working on are you working on a diamond painting a cross stitch crocheting oh my goodness I if you can hear the whirring in the background I've got my washing machine going uh, whatever it is are you going for a jog hey do a few extra kilometers for me or meters or steps or whatever the case might be <laughs> but I'm going to get into what we're going to be working on in a minute before we do that let's do what we always do and throw some oh gosh that didn't work out well throw some love out to the patreons of the channel those that have supported me thank you so very much it is so very appreciated let's throw some love out to those peeps and i will see you guys on the flip side come with me guys okay so what am i working on today I thought I would finish today with you my Melody in Pink, which is a 90 by, I always forget, is it written, where is it? Oh my gosh, 90 by 120, I think it is. It's wrapped all around my table. And I am dedicating uh, what I'm about to say to my very good soul sister. Uh, who is all the way across the other side of the world in France. Lisette, if you happen to stumble across this video, I am going to formally, formally? No, not formally. I'm going to formally uh, label this and hopefully you take this as a compliment, Lisette. But I'm going to, oh my gosh, I can't even use my words. I'm going to formally label the last section of my painting that I have saved here as the Lisette Bonbon. Lisette, you would coined the phrase Bonbon. I am formally giving it everything that it deserves and calling it the Lisette Bonbon, uh, which is essentially I have saved a section of my painting to be the very last section. If you're not familiar with this painting, I will put a, an image of it here see yes I always use my fingers so that I know where in the video to prompt myself <laughs> uh, and if you have a look at the picture you will see that there is on the piano a telephone and I nominated and chose this section here to be uh, my Lisette Bonbon to do and we'll get into the reasons why as we go along let's get through all the formalities uh, i just have just to keep me company here some cover minders and from various people so these two here i have uh, from oh snap crafters cafe uh, this one they're both snap ones i haven't got no i'm not gonna i'm not gonna risk taking a nail but these little doobies here come off so i've got this one here from oh snap crafters cafe this one here, which I'll talk to you more about with a little elephant in the middle um, with some wings. So they're both from there. I've got my angel wings here also from my beautiful subscriber friend, Sandra West. Thank you, Sandra. And this one here is a gorgeous Dimenti, Dimenti, I, I, I think of it as Dimenti feather. Feathers mean the world to me. It's in all the beautiful rainbow colors which matches this as well, as well as what it signifies. And they're just kind of keeping me company as I go along because I literally have just this square to go. The pen I've got is a diamond painting pen. Obviously, durr. Um, it was given to me by, as a birthday present from Jenny, the owner and co-owner of Uniquely Yours Down Under and Rose Profit Creations. And so I'm using this with metal tips. I've got a seven placer. I didn't make it all pretty. It's just got a bit of, uh, of this tape here just to hold the tip in, but it's uh, a seven placer and a single placer. 
um, accompanied by my Josephine Wall journal on the side, which I found. Oh my goodness, Eva, if you're listening to this, tinker, tinker, tink. Uh, yes, I thought I'd put it in the video. So as life would have it, and it's okay, uh, the audio failed. It, this had an entire whip and chat to it, and when I played it back, it was in slow motion. So I have fast forwarded and done a time lapse. Enjoy, uh, enjoy the process, enjoy the music, and be sure to stick around to the end where I lay down the first, sorry, the last diamonds together with you and talk you through my post uh, post review thoughts as well. Catch you on the flip side, guys. Okay guys, so we are at the final stages and I always finish off with ABs and I want to finish off right in the middle, middle, middle here. So let's do this together as I close out the final diamonds for my Reach Out 2022 project um, or diamond painting if you will. Uh, I had spoken at length on a lot of subjects, um, but I decided probably better to do it as a time lapse. I don't know what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to not keep, but it doesn't matter because we're on the final stretch and I wanted to share this with you. So bear with me as we do this and then I'm going to take it off the table and put it somewhere where you can actually see it properly in its full glory would you like that 
my Lisset Bonbon has been an absolute delight to work on. Please remember, whenever you are in need, always remember to reach out. Um, reach out. At, uh, when you need help, reach out to those that need help. I hope that those that participated in the event enjoyed it. We're down to the last two colours. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm almost shaking. This is my biggest project to date that I've ever completed. And to say that I am proud of it is an understatement. To say that I am grateful for it is an even bigger understatement. Uh, it has given me everything that I wanted mental health wise and more uh, it literally really has bought me such grounding such times of peace when my mind was otherwise troubled um, yeah so I hope that if you did join in, that whatever painting or project or craft work or however you partook in our event was a positive experience for you. <clears throat> oh my goodness, we're nearly there. Are you excited? I'm so, oh my gosh. I was saying to Jenny, I'm both excited and sad that it's coming to an end. It's like I've been with this painting for so long it's taken so much to get that satisfaction of a finish you know it's not uh, I started it in February February maybe the end of January I'm hearing an ambulance or some sort of emergency service you'll probably hear them as well in the background I don't know they sound like they've turned off gosh I hope that means it's not something that's close by positive thoughts that no one's in any serious danger of course that's what I think about when I hear that it's like oh I hope they're okay and it's nothing serious I feel like I have to sneeze Excuse me. <laughs> Raw and organic. <laughs> That's what you get here with me. Oh my goodness, we're nearing the end. We're nearing the end. <sighs> Two more. Oh no, there's one more up the top, which is a white one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, my heart's beating. Wow. All right, let's go. One. I always leave the ABs till last. Unfortunately, the middle here, which is what I elected to be the very end, they're not ABs, but it doesn't matter. All right, let's go. You ready? Let's do them one by one. Okay. Alrighty. As I complete this painting, I want to say a massive thank you to my co-host, Diamonds and Floss with Abigail Marie 007. I want to say a massive thank you to all my subscribers who participated in Reach Out 2022. To all those that are just part of my subscriber tribe, Thank you so much for your patience in the um, in me needing to take some time out for me. To my Patreons who have been even more patient and supportive throughout. I want to say a massive thank you. 
to Josephine Wall for making this artwork uniquely yours down under and Rose Profit Creations for providing, well not providing, I actually purchased the canvas. To anyone and everyone who is in my diamond painting world, thank you. I'm about to lay the last diamond for this painting. Wow. <laughs> Here we go. It's done. It is done. Join me in if I'm going to set this up so that you can see the finish. I'm actually, I haven't seen it in its full glory. Um, for a very very long time it's been on my table so I'm going to turn it and take it off the table and put it in a position so that we can all enjoy it together stay right there guys well there she is guys in all her glory look at her Wow it is 90 by 120. You and I, we just finished the phone. It is absolutely amazing. The, uh, I'll do a, a post review. Um, what can I tell you? The, the painting was an absolute delight. I've said it from the start, absolute delight. The only change that I made was where you see the keys, the black keys on the on the piano. I changed out a lot of the three tens. Um, at the well, the, the black keys on the piano were all uh, ABs, but I actually changed some of them out, and I just sprinkled a few of the ABs on there. Uh, I'm just, my breath is taken away. My breath is absolutely taken away. The detail has been phenomenal. I'm not disappointed with anything at all. Um, at first, see this, see this green bit here? I thought, what is that randomly in the middle of her, of her dress? But it's actually when you look at the original artwork, these are leaves here and what it is is that the leaves are coming through and through her dress and that's true to the original artwork. You can see here, the faces have come out. Can you see those two faces that are looking at the girl? They look like either trees that are coming down or like, you know, plants that are whispering down. But you can, if you look carefully, they're actually faces, two faces there. And up the top as well, the lady that's there in the background, leaning against the banister, perfectly, came, came out perfect, came out perfect. Oh, bless you, offspring number two. Um, I'll show you the leftover diamonds in a minute, but I just wanted to absolutely show you how beautiful this came out. At first, I wasn't sure about the black AVs in her hair, but I actually quite like it because it's consistent with the lighting that's coming, you know, in that direction towards her. Uh, the staircase, you can see that it's going up and it has brought me through the journey that I wanted it to bring me through. Uh, reach out 2022. Uh, the music of life, the journey of an unknown staircase, where's it going to take me next? A world of healing. Um, this is going to take pride in my, in my house. So I'm gonna position you back up on to the tripod and we'll just have a quick look at um, the leftover diamonds. Okay, so just to wrap up a post review, the canvas was super, um, sticky enough. I'm really, really happy with it. I did not run out of any diamonds. These are all my leftovers here. 
you can see I have plenty and there's plenty of um, gunk underneath that I have to clean as well. Now, trash wise, you're going to laugh, but I actually used, see that? I actually just used this level here to collect my trash. That's all the trash that I had. See that? That's it in there. That's all my trash. For a painting that's 120 by 90, that is amazeballs. Oh, actually, there's these two here. So these are all my leftovers. Heaps more on top of that. Because uh, obviously they didn't all fit. So I've got heaps more of that. Of these ones. I'm not going to go through the numbers. But you can see I didn't run out of any. Which is good. They charted it well. As far as numbers of diamonds go. With a, you know, a butt ton left over. Uh, even... I mean, I did substitute some of the black, so it's only going to be fair that I've got black ABs left over. But super, super happy. Excited to be kidding this puppy down now. <laughs> and starting my next one. Do you want to see what the next one is? Would you like to see? I'll give you a hint. Oh, I will show you. I will show you what my next one is. I want to say, ah, oh, get this out of the way. And just quickly show you what I have chosen to be my next painting. Let me just roll it out. I did, did I go for a back-to-back -back giant with Josephine Wall? That's the question. Did I do that? Hmm. <laughs> And the answer is no. <laughs> no, I wasn't going to do that to myself. Excuse the mess that you might see in the background. It is what it is. But is it the right way? No, it's not. I decided to go for a diamond shop. Yes, I am doing wind chimes by, um, what's her name? Leoba Brockner. So this is my next, my next one. And I will explain to you the reasons why I've chosen this painting as my next one. <sighs> Come join me again. So let's take you out and show you once again the beauty that is. And I, if you stick around just for a few minutes more, I took it outside, a painting outside. Uh, to see what it would look like in the sunlight as well so with all that being said thank you so much for being a part of my diamond painting world thank you so so much for having uh joined me as i finished this painting together with you it's been a pleasure it's been a delight wherever you are in your part of the world please do look after yourselves look after each other and have each other's backs it's so so super important and until i see you next time I'm going to send you all much, much love and ciao, ciao for now. Thank you.